Hey Kittle, tension is high. Sam, how are you feeling right now? Well, you managed to pronounce my second name beautifully, so good, thanks. Excellent, Jackie. Let's go, you're about to go. Put I'm gonna send you off, best water. of luck. The order from the umpire to put the boats in the water it means we're about to find out who's going home with the gold medal. Great Britain and New Zealand. New Zealand in lane one, Matthew Dunham, Jackie Kittle. Jackie Kittle doing the running here. Great Britain in lane two, Laura McKenzie and Sam Scrimger. Sam Scrimger starting us off. Last race of the day here at the 2023 World Rowing Beach Sprint Finals. The A final of the mixed double skulls. Jackie Kittle, Sam Scrimger making their way down to the boat. Scrimger gets there first. Let's see if they're able to turn that into a lead. The Kiwis, fast starters we've seen through the previous rounds, but Great Britain get out ahead. Just about half a length to them at the moment. We'll see how the navigation goes. We saw how fast the Kiwis were when it come to when it came to that turning point at the far end. It will be all about the boat speed through this middle segment. Great Britain making the best of that now. They've extended to a length and a half, and they take that aggressive line past the first turning point, clattering it down with their rigour. The Kiwis, they've, they've got the work to do to try and get back on terms. We know, though, how fast Matthew Dunham is when it comes to his finishing sprint, so they've got that in the bank, that in the locker to rely on when it comes to the closing stages. Laura McKenzie, though, no slouch. We've seen her in the previous rounds, fast off the water as well as on. Now, though, we're coming up to the turning point in 250 metres away from the beach. We'll see how they get themselves around this. The Kiwis closing in on Great Britain's lead at the moment. It's going to be so important that they get this return leg right for both boats to make sure they don't get bogged down in between two waves. Race ending it can be. Let's see how they take this aggressive line around the turning point. New Zealand a little bit wider than they were last time. Great Britain are around and starting to make their way back. The Kiwis have made up a lot of distance there and they get their stern on the wave for a little bit of a push. So that sees them pull out in front of Great Britain now on this return leg. That's been a huge advantage to them having that big wave there to coast into this return leg. The British, I think, saw that coming. We're going to see what they can do to make amends for it. I think New Zealand now caught between those two waves or just on the wrong side of a big one. Great Britain going quite wide here now. You can see how far off to the top of the screen they've gone. That's going to only increase the distance that Laura McKenzie is going to have to run when she gets onto the shore. Now the Kiwis, you can see this wave behind them. That's going to lift their stern, give them a bit of a push in towards the line. We'll see whether they can take advantage of that all the way in to the buzzer. Gold and silver medals at stake. Both of these crews will go home with a medal. The question is what colour? Great Britain on the wave set, just one ahead. The question's going to be, can Laura McKenzie turn that into a medal with her finishing sprint? She's out early. She's making her way up the beach, but Matthew Dunham is so fast. He's going for it. I think he's going to get there first. Let's see how this turns out. Matthew Dunham gets there ahead of Laura McKenzie. What a finishing sprint. An amazing conclusion there, Dunham just so quick. I think Great Britain just too far off to the side meant that Laura had a longer run to make up the beach. And Dunham getting in closer to their flag meant that they had a shorter distance for the Kiwis. So gold goes to New Zealand and silver to Great Britain. And unbelievably, that's all of the racing done here on day two of the 2023 World Rowing Beach Sprint Finals. New Zealand take the gold ahead of Great Britain for the silver, and then the bronze goes to Italy. An amazing result in the last race of the day. In just a moment, we're going to pop back down to the start line where we're going to have an interview where Neve has managed to get hold of Matthew Dunham and Jackie Kittle. Looking at a replay of that race. Tricky navigation for Great Britain on the return leg. Just saw them go a little bit off to the side. And the distance that Laura McKenzie had to run to get back up for that starting buzzer. Perhaps twice the distance of the New Zealand team. And they already had the fast sprinting Kiwis.
a lot of emotion in the New Zealand We are here with the champions of the mixed double skulls, New Zealand, Jackie Kittle, Matthew Dunham. Look at the emotion on their faces. Jackie, you just said this is the best race. You've done a lot of rowing in your career, but this is one of the, the highlights. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, as I kind of said before, but it's like, you ride the highs and the lows as a, as a partnership and we've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows in our partnership and so to be able to be on the high together is just something else like really something else it's just amazing to see the passion on your faces you must be unbelievably thrilled Matthew I can't believe it like we've Jackie said it perfectly like highs are highs lows are lows we've had so many struggles in the sport of rowing and this sport has just already given so much to us and to be able to do the mixed double together and be world champions together it's, it's unbelievable did you think coming here to Italy this was going to happen? No. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Well, go and enjoy the celebrations. Amazing work. They are world champions. The mixed double New Zealand. So good to see these two top of the world for New Zealand. We followed their lightweight racing careers on the flat water and now they've made it to the top of the podium in the mixed double skulls here at the World Round Beach Sprint Finals.